So, when we last left off, you guys were in the city of Duna. Uh, you had joined up with a group called... Well, before... Did you join up with a group before or after Arthur Sin? Um, before. before. Who's Arthur Sin? He's the guy before. who sold the pot, remember? Okay. It we killed that guy, right? No, you never met him. No. Oh, we're trying to kill that guy. You were yeah, you were trying to track him down. Okay. To kill him. He's hot. He's high up and everything. We can't even get oh, to I thought Manny was going to say he's hot. I was like, oh, Manny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no. Okay. I didn't know you swung that way. You guys... Character might have, but hey. You guys went to his house following the shop owner. promotion? Following Always. the shop owner... You went to his house, uh, encountered the maid who was controlling some kind of magic rug. You killed her and the rug. Uh, we killed her, but the rug stopped working. Yeah, the rug just stopped happened. working, yeah. You took the necklace well, off. We of saved her. her, didn't we? We saved the chick that oh, no, was inside the rug. We killed the old lady. You killed yeah. the old lady. Yeah, yeah but the we, butler lady. But we, yeah, but we saved the antique lady. She, was, she said she wanted to skip town and everything. I took yeah. a gold necklace we, from her. As we didn't give her anything, did we? Yeah, no. I did. I gave her. I gave her a mustache. Or did we give her gold? No, I gave her a mustache and glasses as a disguise. That's all oh, that yeah. happened. Okay, you I'm investigated his house, found the two corpses in the cellar. <clears throat> you then left. You got some gear from the reclaimers, the guild you joined. Got the little statue. Yeah, we were just on board. looting this place, weren't we? Pretty much. Yeah, because then we're using <laughs> the dead body as a ragdoll um, shield to traps. Oh no, we're talking. I'm talking about the fucking, uh, what the fuck's the place? The, the guild. The reclaimers. Oh yeah, yeah. We're yeah, just... the uh, the building. <laughs> I wish I could find my tablet pen. So yeah, you. Joined up with the reclaimers, did some combat to prove that you were wor you were worthy of joining. Got some free gear, got a little statue called an envoy, which will track your progress and report back to the reclaimers. And then they told you about a tunnel that might lead to the surface that they needed so you to investigate. So this thing's kind of observing us, right? But yeah, when you when you take you it say? out, when you take it out and look at it, its its head doesn't move, but its eyes move around. Like, they, they, so, they recognize quick, him. Quickly, enough, Logan. We had a long rest, right? <laughs> yeah, you had a long rest. Okay. I can click that real quick. Can I do some sort of check? Oh, we did have a long rest? Okay. Yeah. Can I do some sort of check to see if, um, there are, if I know that they're always listening like Alexa? Make an Arcana check. <laughs> right. I like to, I like to assist on this. Uh, yes, you can assist. You can either roll yourself or give mine the advantage. I Let me see what I'll... my arcana shit is. Hold on, I gotta look at my phone. I gotta open D and D Beyond. Sponsor us. D and D Beyond. I'm kidding. It's a check. Well, well, well. <laughs> Sponsor me. Um, that's my arcana. This app is confusing. It's great, right. but it's confusing. My uh, arcana is at plus five. Uh, um, I have a plus one, so... So if you, you both can roll separately if you'd like. I'll roll separately, uh, 18. 18, okay. And my need I gotta get my just, dice! Yeah, just for the hell of it, to see if you get anything yeah. higher. Oh, uh, god damn it, okay. Hold on, let me get my dice. <laughs> I gotta find where I put them. Alexa, I am are not, you here? Are dude, you when you guys... Me? God damn it, it's all the way on <laughs> the middle of my bed, dude. <laughs> Ah, uh, god damn it. Alright, cat, get off the bed. Um, no, you guys called me. I, w I literally forgot about D&D. &D, and I had just gotten food. I'm sitting here waiting for a new monitor I ordered, and then fucking me and Brian went to go smoke. And fucking, I wasn't ready. <laughs> You're fine. It's chill. Yeah. Hey, it's Everybody all, was on this whole entire time. I'm not, oh, by the way, I'm not, I'm not streaming this anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. Aww. No, I'm recording okay. it now. Okay, you're recording, that's fine. Yeah. We get edited. That yeah, that's good. why. That's why I want to record. I prefer edited content, so I can go through. Cut out the super raunchy stuff. Oh no, that's gonna stay dangerous. in, buddy. That's gonna stay in. Okay. I don't censor anything. Honestly, Logan, if you like kept your thing to like just like good. Mature, like, we need no censorship audience. in America. Oh no, my YouTube Honestly. channel is not for kids. Yeah. If you keep your thing to mature audience and everything, you're still gonna have kids watching it regardless. Oh yeah, of course, because they lie. Kids. 
Kids don't care. Parents. It goes off probably ISP anyway, and accounts and yeah. shit. Because yeah, okay, cat, you better move. Algorithm. You're gonna get squished by my bed. Oh, you like right, watching things that to be with D D and everything? Oh, here you I go. I got watch distracted this. with looking for my pen when I when Logan said he wasn't live streaming. So. All right, what am I? I'm rolling an Arcana check. Arcana, right? I guess. So you have to. With my plus one. Manny got an 18. So if you get anything higher, let's see. I love plus five. Mighty roll. Oh one. my! Thank you. I found it. Eleven. Eleven. So uh, that's mining. That's twelve. Unnatural. So Zon, how do you pronounce your character's name? Zon. Or Zon. Zon. Okay. So, Zon, you, you study it, and it creeps you out. Its eyes constantly looking around, like every now and then it'll lock on your eyes and just stare at you for a moment, but you can't. Tell if it's eyes monitoring. The, the eyes, the eyes make that like little liquidly sound like they're like looking at you, like like they're leering at in your direction, kind of thing. Uh -huh. Like but, in the movies. But Azriel, you immediately as you study this with your arcane knowledge, you know that this thing is monitoring you both visually and audibly, so it can hear what you're saying. But you get the idea that if you put it in something like a bag of holding or if you put it in a thick enough bag that would muffle it you probably could get away with not having it monitor you if that's what you okay. wanted nah I'm gonna I'm gonna like use it as a person like use it for personal things now that I know this I'm gonna like when I go ahead and go when I am like ever going to take a bath I'm just gonna have it just looking straight at me cause it can't look anywhere <laughs> else <laughs> That's one hell of a way to get him to not watch you. This is like all in my in my head right now. Oh yeah, you're not Wait, so this. is it watching us? Do I know? I don't know anything. He can um, tell you. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly uh, cover it with a bag, like a thick enough bag that I have on me, and whisper in his ear. It what I whisper in your ear. It watches us pee. Wait, that's oh, all. It's, it's watching us pee. It watches. I just say us. that. <laughs> <laughs> you're just standing in the you're, well you guys are in your in room I assume so you're not out in public or anything Carl Carl here hears and sees us while we pee at all times is, is Carl sentient um you gauged they did say that when you first got it it was I asked him he's kind yeah, of I guess he's kind of sentient like it has intelligence but it doesn't have a soul it's like a okay. really advanced AI. Um, but it can only monitor. It can't actually uh, react or act to the world. All right. So, like, after I tell so pretty stuff, much you got like a cop badge thing with a camera on it, right? A pretty much. After, Kinda. after, hey, after leave my I dice alone, this, you little fucking cat thing. After I tell him this and everything, I take Carl out of the uh, out of the bag again. I'm like, all right, I can't wait until bath time. You see Is there a way to put this thing in airplane around. mode? <laughs> you could try. I try to put it in airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me a straight intelligence check. Straight intelligence. Just a straight intelligence. Uh, it doesn't get any boost, does it, for my it intelligence? It just. I, don't, I, I think I have zero intelligence. Um, I'll look at your character sheet. We will find out. Give me a sec. I, I want to look at my future. You have a, I think I have a. I have an ability. You have a plus one to your intelligence, mining. All right, so I gotta. Let's just restore balance uh, again. It, I rolled it. It was a nine. It was a nine. So ten. Wait, wait. I think I have an. I, I forgot how restore balance works. I want. It doesn't. I'm trying to figure out. Trying to. What does restore balance do again? I think it lets me let somebody reroll something, right? Weren't we using this in the uh, laptop? Wasn't the app on the computer better or something? I can't it's remember. It's a lot better. Okay, that's what yeah. I'm going to fucking use because I'm sitting here using the phone. Yeah, when restore it sucks balance. Ass. When a creature you can see within 60 feet of you is about to roll a d20 Sorry, with advantage Andy, or disadvantage, balance. you can use your reaction to prevent the roll from being affected by advantage and disadvantage. So it doesn't really affect him right now. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Oh, I'm going to Can you hear my fans on my no, laptop? No, you're dead. Are you sure? Because yeah. it runs loud. So, okay. Yeah, I don't hear any. Whenever, I hear, like, nothing. 
so you're good. Wow, I don't know how, dude. This thing's fucking loud as fuck. It's probably your head. Your headset's got noise canceling, so it probably only picks probably. up your voice. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't. Uh. Hey, Carl. Yeah, someone Carl. About Carl. Uh, I want to put this thing on airplane mode. Okay. <laughs> Did you roll your intelligence? Yeah, it was a. It was ten. a nine or ten. Yes, it was a you get nine a plus, plus one. one. So you take it and you study it, looking for maybe a switch or a button. You flip it around. You look carefully. Doesn't seem to have a way to it's shut it close. off. Do I? I don't recall them mentioning anything about me fucking with this thing would get us fired or anything. Do I? They didn't say anything of that. Okay. Hey, hey, Carl. It kind of locks eyes with you. I lock eyes with them. So, leave my what fucking dice alone, asshole. What happens if we mess with you, Carl? It just kind of looks around. It can't move its head, so. And That's it can't, okay, doesn't but... respond. Does it can't respond? It's literally why. It's like a camera. That's literally all it does. It I cannot. thought you replied so, back before. What if I put it in a box? Can it see did you box? reply back before? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought remember. it did. It talked before. Yeah, inside yeah. the dungeon. Because it was a doll thing, and it said, you said it like learned and shit or something. You might be and right. Talked. It's been a while. It was like we could teach a rock or something. I don't know. Yeah. How to be sentient. You might be know. right. I may be misremembering. Because it has been a couple weeks. I had yeah, to sign cause... in? Fuck. Because I asked you, you know. if it really mattered which one I grabbed, and you just tossed one at me. And I, I, and I decided to name it Carl, and it started replying back to me and shit. Okay. So, With, like, in a, <clears throat> like, in a, like, I don't fucking care about you kind of attitude. It was like, like, damn. It's like as if Alexa didn't like me, kind of feel. Okay. So knowing that, uh, you ask if messing with it will get you in trouble? Yeah. How do, who, who, am, who am I asking? You it know. or the... I'm asking Carl. <laughs> oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, I'm asking Carl. All right, so anything yeah, kinda, that happens, it kind of you. It kind of sighs and says, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do anything to harm me, but my job is to just monitor. Do you have airplane mode, Carl? I do not have an airplane mode, whatever that is. I mean, flying broom mode. My bad. What are airplanes? I don't know. It's airship mode. Ah, Fair enough. I do not have an airship mode. Damn. Well, that's great. So, Carl, are you ready for bath time of later? <laughs> you hear a long, drawn-out sigh. You say, I just monitor and report back. All what right. if I put you in a box? What would happen? I wouldn't be able to see you. But if I could still hear you, I could still You don't report. have magical eyes? No, I'm not that powerful of a magic item. I put him in a box. <laughs> you put him in a box. What? Carl? You just... You hear him muffled from inside. I can't see you. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I can't find him. We'll find Carl you, go? Carl. Carl? I think you got swallowed by a, a, a prison wallet. Oh. <laughs> a freaking wallet mimic? Oh my god. <laughs> prison wallet mimic. This is crazy. I try to figure out if I, I, I just put him in the pocket, in my pocket. But I try to, figure, I'm gonna try and figure out a way to, to make he where he can't hear us and shit. All right, wh what are we doing? Where are we going? What do we gotta do? Well, you were tasked with finding the tunnel that led to the surface. They gave you a brief description of where they had sent a previous team that they lost contact with, that also was sent to investigate. And that's all the information they gave you. They didn't give you a map. They didn't tell you how to get there. They basically just said it's between the these two direction. cities. Yeah, they gave you a general direction. They said it's between these two cities from Duma, Duna, the one you're in, and the other one, which I don't remember the name because my notes are gone because they all got deleted. Don't worry, Logan. I didn't delete them. Know. My USB I don't know died. Either. How do I fuck with my character? What do you mean? God damn it, D&D Beyond. Where is my character at? I don't either, because for some reason it took it took the notes that I typed up on my phone, and said, "I hate you." Yeah. I was so, taking notes on my tablet with the tablet pen, but I don't want to type on it. 
I can't find my tablet then. It's fine. Um, for now, but... it's an unnamed city that will be named once I go back and watch the episode that it was listed in. <laughs> Name it yeah. Duma. So one will be Duna and one will be Duma. For now, <laughs> for now, we'll call it Duma's Duma. Duma's from uh, Duma's from a uh, Fire Emblem. Uh, oh never, man! You're I've welcome. Never played Fire Emblem except for the mobile game. Yeah, and you need to. You need to play Sacred Stones. Best one. Oh, uh, later. Steal they're, making it, a, uh, they're making a Fire um, Emblem Three Houses Warrior game. Yeah, I'm sad about that. I'm pretty hyped. I'm okay. on the fence if I want to get it or not. Oh, I'll tell you if it's good or not. I'll play it, but I'm, I'll tell you. So, you've been tasked with going to find the If the story is good, it would be worth playing. But I hey, just, yeah, yeah. I'm... Don't worry, I'll tell you. Warriors gets boring. What, Logan? Well, sorry. I said you've been tasked you with finding the cut tunnel. That, cut that out. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut a lot out. But, uh, the tunnel, you've been tasked with finding it. The pay was 10,000 gold if you find it and report back alive. Oh, yeah. That's We're finding this fucking tunnel. Yeah, not uh, not just that. Um, yeah, we we had like a little bit of free time, and that's why we went to Arthur's place. Well, we while well, we were staking out the yeah, you antique were st lady. You're staking out the antique lady who's to to, to, to give an to give an explanation. You were staking out the antique lady who sold the magic pot to the circus leader that turned out to be some kind of teleportation device between another pot, but. If anything living was put inside, it would be killed and resurrected and become and go rampant like the Minotaur did um, in the circus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question. Yes. As far as we know, does that pot still exist? It's not broken, right? No, it's the the guards have it at this point. Yeah, it's a fucking large. I kind of want to go back and get that pot before we leave. We haven't it's, left the city yet, right? No, you've not left the city, but you. It's so large that you would not be able to transport it unless you physically carried it. Is it possible to like shrink it down if it senses a magic item? Like you know, like think it's think think it's no. not. Is there a way I could like hide it or something? I well, the last you left off with it, it was still at the circus, but the guards were confiscating it. So you can only assume that if they took it, they took it to their headquarters. Right. Technically, if you think Which... about it. You're is so there headquarters small. in the city, or is it in... It's city? in the city. Okay. Technically, if you think about it, buddy, if you stealth and everything, since you're so small and everything, you can literally, uh, like, use the the pot as covered, it would just look like a pot that, that moves on its own. A magic flat, um, walking pot. I don't think I can carry it, though. No, you wouldn't... It has to be, like, put on a cart or carried by many people. It was large. Uh, Cause so remember, I'm it just had... gonna assume that they'll keep this pot at the city, and I'm gonna come back and try and get it sometime. Because if you remember, um, a full-grown minotaur fit inside the pot, so that's how big yeah. it is. True. Well, very true. Because I want to see if I can fucking extract the magic, and make something with it. Okay. So Homebrew something. You're maybe. free. Uh, what about you're... the other pot, the smaller pot that was in the tent? No, that was the same size. I was? Remember, oh, remember they teleport, so they're equal size. Oh. You put something in one, it teleports to the other. So my not, assumption though. is they have both the monster. Thing. Well, you you guys successfully read the inscription on the bottom, which said that don't put anything alive inside. Oh, uh, but they do. So where's the other pot? It was in oh, the no, back no. of the tent. No, no, we didn't read it successfully. We uh, brought it to that la and oh, yeah. lady, and she yeah, yeah and you. She said thank you for telling us, though. No, she told yeah. you. It's just I yeah, forgot. They, you still you knew it. It's just how you came by the information. I was wrong. She told you yeah. what you said. Yeah, I remember that because yeah. then I was trying to get the money back and shit. And then she was like, "Ah, campaigns." She, she ran characters. A, yeah, she ran Sorry. away out from the back, and then we decided to leave her freaking place of what we can get, and there was not that much. Yeah, it was it was like a crappy little antique shop. She didn't have much. It looks like the pot was the first big sale she'd had in like weeks. Yeah, besides some of the stuff, because it was the thing that she got from Arthur. Yeah, she bought it from uh, him, sold it to the circus leader, and that's where it went, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then she was trying to get something out of the gold necklace from Arthur, and then I took the gold necklace, and I don't know if it's magical or not. Yep, you still have it. Yes, I do. So, you guys are in the Wait, city. Wait, is it magical? Yeah. Uh, make an arcana check. I don't think you ever checked. Never did I. Um, 24. 24. It seems to be not magical, just very well crafted. So it might be worth a it might be worth a good chunk of change. 
So you, you oh, get the right. idea she may have been trying to sell it to him to get out of the city. Okay. I'll go but, ahead and put that in my... up. Uh, get that under um, yeah. my you, notes. In order to get... You know, in order to get the actual value, you'd have to have it appraised. You can't, like, just look at it and tell, oh, this is worth, like, so-and-so gold. Yeah, you'd yeah, yeah. Have to get unless you have a... Unless I have, like, a jeweler's kit. And exactly. Proficient. If you had a jeweler's kit and you are proficient in it, that would work. But, you, but unfortunately, you're not, so... It's okay. So... So it's next time. You guys are in the city. You have your task. What would you like to do? Um... um you got everything, right? We can look. Do you want to go to buy a couple places to see if there's anything else to do before we leave, or it's up to you? Um, I'm good. I'm like satisfied with um with our purchase and everything. If so you're if, if you're satisfied with it, hit the yellow brick road. Yeah, let's go. Wait, is it yellow brick road or is it like a? It's a dirt. It's, um, the roads in here are just dirt. It's like it's underground. So once they hollowed it out, they didn't bother paving the roads. And that's when I decide to go ahead and get some buy some paint and start painting the road. <laughs> but um, ten years later, finally he finally finished the freaking first the first length of it. You guys could ask around to see which route would take you to the next city, and like they said, it's at the halfway point, so you would have to. Basically, they don't. They only know so much. They told you where they sent the last team, and that's all they gave you. They don't have a map. No. Yes. We're on foot right now, right? You're on foot. You haven't... Zahn, you would know what a horse is. But Azrael, yes. you would have no idea what a horse is. Because they don't exist in the Underdark at the moment. So Okay, so no. there are no horses? No. There are other, there are other pack animals. One's is more local. Dire Not direwolves, but there are animals local to the underground that are being used instead of horses. What are they? They're giant grubs. Ooh, I, I have no problem riding the worm. Now they're not fast; they're pack animals. You know, you just throw a bunch of stuff on them to carry it across, to carry it from city to city. Yeah. If you're looking for, I'm just thinking. So we're gonna be on foot then, probably. Yeah, there's okay. nothing really speedy. Um, magic carpet. Oh. You'd have to find one. Um, I thought we were gonna have a magic carpet, but then we found out say? it was not magic. Did it, you? Uh, did you want to? I kind of I sent you my background, right? I don't know if you still have it or not. All my notes were lost, so I don't have it anymore. Uh, I'll have to find it. But um, resend it to me. How when long can. do you want me to be a have roamed this new like underdark for my character? Well, it's been a couple thousand years, so at that yeah. point, you've been around for a while. Yeah. Going from city to city, just doing your thing. So okay, so I know yeah. about. I would know about there not being any horses then. Yeah, you would. You would know that horses weren't taken down from the surface. That people just literally panicked, started digging, or went to the dwarven cities, which are already underground, and then just started making new homes. They didn't really oh, bring shit. anything with them. Okay. But um, I, I'm. I think I'm ready to go to the next city. All right, I'm ready too. Um, Logan, my background story is yes. actually still intact on D and D Beyond. You just click on background story, and yeah, it'll I think expanded. mine might be on my background. Well, I, I don't know. Apparently, my enemies, from what it says, are the Watchdogs. I don't remember why it was the Watchdogs, but yeah. <laughs> I don't want to change the name. I just want to. Put yep, them. I got your backstory right here. It's I can I can. Does do it have it. mine on there? Ah, uh, let's see. Go to Zon. Go to notes. Yep, I got yours too. Okay, sweet. So I'll be able to copy and paste those, and when I get my new USB drives, I'll port them right over. Um. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to probably find a magic carpet then, right? Maybe after you get the 10,000 gold, but you knowing you, if there are any magic items down <coughs> here, they're old uh, or they're new. If they're old, they're expensive and hard to find. If they're new, they're not necessarily as good as the ones brought from the surface. Just okay. simply because the magic's been lost... It's been so long that people don't necessarily remember. Like, if you tried to find a plus one sword, you might have some luck. 
But if you tried to find like a a Vorpal sword, you probably wouldn't be able to find one. They'd still okay. be on the surface somewhere. That's that's why people want to go to the surface so bad is because things down here aren't that good. They've been and living. Once we find a route. That's gonna open the floodgates. To, oh yeah! Once you successfully if, if, find if the route, it's nav like if if it's kind of safe to go around. Exactly. Top, if right? it's if it's yeah, you, you don't know. Nobody knows what's going on on the surface. They've been here for so long okay. that they can only assume that either a the war is still going on or b everyone is dead. So that's okay. that's the two thoughts that are going so on. So for all we could know, there could be a whole fucking civilization that's been out there for a thousand years. Yeah. And shit. For all you know, everything's okay. back to normal. You you just all no right. one knows. No one's been able to get back up. All but right. there are no dire wolves in here. Damn. There are no dire wolves. That's depressing. So it's we're hoofing it on our feet. All right. So wait. Okay. I'm I'm up for that. Yeah. Unless you want to get a grub thing, I I don't want a grub. I don't. I kind of do. Get a grub. How much? Um, how not, much it's not gonna make us drive any faster, is it? No, it'll be slower. Yeah. Basically, the grubs are pack animals. You, you, they're meant to carry large amounts of gear. So, like, like giant pot. I guess yes, a giant <laughs> pot. <laughs> you really want that pot? You want? You want to go for a pot run, Manny? <laughs> do you want to grow up for him now? I bet. If I can get a pot with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look. Chaos. The pot. Chaos. From what? From what you know. <laughs> The pot would be in police custody. So you would either have to A, convince them to give it to you somehow, or B, oh. you would have to steal it. Which <laughs> are both. I like B. <laughs> I knew you'd okay. like B. I have somehow, if I had Levitate. Well, I have Levitate. I don't have Levitate. I Damn will it. say, I don't want this to turn into a prison campaign so quickly. <laughs> Why? What, what do you mean? We tried that before. You guys just escape or jump through portals and fight ter velociraptors. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, no, I'm tempting. Smart. I still hey, remember I that. I had the same amount of intelligence for this character <laughs> as I did the fucking whatever the fuck. The, that was uh, your barbarian or whatever. Barbarian, fucking. Uh, I think it was what blood the hunter. Called? Uh no, but yeah, I think it was yeah, barbarian, blood hunter, uh, um, tiefling. Yeah, that was the prison campaign, which you tried to escape from the prison. Multiple times. Yes. From jumping through the portal. That character was supposed to, like, use... He's a psychopath. The, the, the thing he's... Yeah. The, the, he's supposed to use the blood of his enemies <laughs> as finger paint. I remember. And I was, like, so... I was so willingly just gonna act like I ran through the portal, trying to charge trying to charge him to keep him from getting out of it, but actually, like, go through the portal as well. Right, so what, what uh, are my fucking spells at? What would you guys like to do? Uh, we can always come back for a raid if if we can. Yeah, I think we can just leave the city. Okay. So. Because if I stay in here any longer, I'm gonna end up fucking uh. <laughs> stealing some pots. Okay, so you guys ask around easily enough and find the exit leading to the next city. You could join up with the caravan if you'd like. They don't, you know, it'd be slower, but you'd be safer from incursions from bandits nah, fuck or safety. any under. Okay, just I'm just suggesting it. Safety. Um, you know, wait, who's, what's in the caravan? Who's in the caravan? What do they look like? Well, there are multiple. There's a traveling uh, troop of performers. I don't really have any spells. Fuck. You only have three. Your are they my troop? They're not your troop. Your troop. Your troop hasn't disbanded, but they're I can all... Comban I can command them to give me the fucking pot. <laughs> oh, God. What? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Do you really want to go for the pot? You can go for the pot. Hold on, hold on, I'm reading. <laughs> Let me read it, too. I only want to go the... for it if I can do it. How do I... I want to read it. How command do I do it lasts for the time being, but after the command, then they're, they're, they're conscious of what they did. As a heads up. That's what can't... That's fine. That's what, that's what command does. <laughs> Hold and on. from there, it's whatever the DM decides as the thought process of what happens after command. The spell has no effect if the target is undead. It doesn't understand your language. Or if your command is directly harmful to it. Some typical commands and their 
effects follow. You might issue a command other than one described here. If you do so, the GM determines um, how the target behaves. If the target can't follow your command, the spell ends. Approach the target moves. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know if you guys want me to keep reading out loud or not. I already read it. You're good. Okay. I'm a slow reader. You're fine. So, it, you, theoretically, the spell could work to give them, have them give you the pot. But you would also know that if they fail, if, they, if you fail, it might not end well. Uh, is, like, would someone important be near the gate to where they would hold the pot? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the orange juice. Give me a... Let's see. Uh, no one at the gate. Those would be low-level guards who are just standing there to prevent people from getting in. If you gained access somehow and made it to somebody, then they could possibly... This has become maybe. a blood ice. Already. What? I like how I, I dangle 10,000 gold in front of your faces, but this fucking pot... <laughs> That's all you I, fucking I care about. <laughs> but I also want 10,000 gold. 10,000, um, not 1,000. It's a lot more than no, that. No, I said 10,000. You said 1,000. <laughs> I said 10. Fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, Manny, what's your character's name? Uh, oh, Asriel. Asriel. Yeah, um, Asriel, would you like to spend time getting pot or, or, or 10,000 gold? I look at him for a sec, and think to myself, pot, pot. I go into, I look into my bag, I'm like, you mean this? Can you pull up the glaze? Yep. Miney, he holds up what looks like drugs to you. Which, you, um, would, you would know, as old as you are, you would know that it's glaze, it's a type of drug that's used. It's, it's something you would know, so you'd recognize it. Um... No, not that kind of pot, but I will I will take some. Thank you. Gladly. All right. I just use it right there. <laughs> I don't know how I use it. If I light it or you, it's, eat it. You roll it up and you smoke it. It's Okay. I start rolling it up and smoking it. <laughs> give, me a cons- it. give me a constitution check. A constitution save. Constitution save? Yep. Fuck. You get a plus two for that. I'm trying to get over my... Uh, it, is, it is really nice having your character sheets open and available. 14 plus something. Plus two. 16. So, you puff it, and for a couple seconds you feel like the world start to spin, and it kind of goes back to normal. But everything has this, like, shine to it. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine right, bright. Um, is it morning or night? Um, you're underground. You don't know. You know what I mean. Is it <laughs> business? Or, Carl, or what time, time is sleeping? it? What's the day? What's it, the day and time? Carl pops what? open. It is currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 2 o'clock in the afternoon? How's Carl know? I'm connected Carl. to the main base. I get information from them as I send information back. Oh. Carl, so were you listening to everything we were talking about earlier? Because from what I can understand, you are looking for a pot. Yes. That's exactly right. Do you have any friends that would get us a pot? (laughs) He goes, I have friends in the police. Well, I don't have friends, but they're friends with the reclaimers. The fact that you're a member, you might be able to gain access. Ah. See? Legal means. Getting pot. Legal means. All right, we'll 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 hit you back on that. Oh, oh, sorry, you're getting. Oh, oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> All right, um, so we start. I, I'm I'm good to head to the next city if you are, Manny. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All, All right. right, so you guys find the entrance or the exit from the city. You see that there are many caravans gathered around. There's people talking and you know trading goods, and easily enough you exit the city. And as you walk, the people start to dwindle down. The convoys start to disappear until finally you're just alone in a large tunnel, just extending off into the distance. Secret tunnel. 
Secret tunnel. Start to lightly play the water I have. We tried one, we need to make a camp or whatever. You what? Two, two. I said, uh, I guess we travel until we're ready to go to sleep and okay. camp. I guess. Both of you give oh. me survival checks. Okay. Two lizards sneaking I'm, in the darkness. Oh, I am a lizard. You're right. God yeah, damn you're, it. you're both reptiles. <laughs> yes, we are. What? Uh, survival check. Uh, fuck, I just uh, need to pull my uh, skill list again. A four, <laughs> I think. Four. I don't have proficiency in survival. Survival, where you at? Oh, there we are. Uh, oh, plus one, eight. so I got, I got five. Eight. Eight, eight and a five. You guys travel so, for an so hour. So I start, I start playing the liar a little bit louder because I'm getting into it going, Secret Tunnel! Secret you guys travel. Tunnel. This whole time, I my character didn't realize that he was like singing like a bard. You guys travel <laughs> for an hour, two hours, three, and then it continues on until you both get tired and you think, it's time to sleep. You check where you are and you're just in a tunnel. You look and there's no side passages, there's no little covets to sleep in so you pull yourself off to the side of where the road would be and you guys set up a makeshift camp um are you both going to just go to sleep or is someone going to take a watch and then the next person i was gonna say do you want to just uh go low and and no watch i'll take a watch i'll take All a right. watch you can you can go to sleep but i'm gonna have carl stand out like he's uh like let's get to a corner that there's only one direction that carl can look out you're going in the corner with Carl? Oh, God. <laughs> like, right. you know, like, him, like, being, like, a, you know, like one of those corner cameras that looks out on both sides kind of thing. Do either of but, you... Yeah, okay, so... Oh, I'm you... gonna also set up an alarm. Okay. I have a um, spell alarm. I forgot I had it. And it's good for 30 feet, a 30 feet radius. Perfect. Uh, do you have dark vision? That is a good question. I'm looking at do, your character sheet and I don't see it. I don't think Dragon, um, Dragon One has a no, dark I vision. I don't think you do. I know I'm looking wait, at Mighty. Mighty wait. does. Actually, wait, no, I should have dark vision. I'm a Dragonborn. Make a check. Okay. I'm checking your seat, but I don't see it. Size, speed. Ancestry, resistance. Oh. Let me, oh, fuck. I can look. I'll you know, Google it. I'm a player's handbook right here. I set up a lawn at least before he, um, you know. It says Dragonborn, do not. Okay. That's All right, cool then. You'd think they would. I, but, anyways. I set, up a, I set up an alarm regardless. All right, so feet radius. you douse your torches and huddle in for the night. Azrael, you're taking the first watch. Make a perception check with disadvantage. All right, but I defy, I defy God. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so just straight roll. Yeah. <laughs> and God says, fuck you. Natural one. Natural one. So you sit there in the dark, and you start to see shapes I am like, moving man, around. I'm, getting, like, I'm kind of getting a little sleepy. The uh, yeah. alarm spell stays up, just so you know, but... And I just, I close my eyes and go to sleep. All right. So you just start to, start to doze off. Soon enough, your head's hanging and you're out like a light. But the night goes by and you eventually wake up for however long you slept. You're not sure. But at that point, Zahn, you wake up. You guys are seemingly fine. Woo! All right. That's nice. Oh, fuck. All right, um... I smell the morning air. So that's a long rest? That's a long rest for both of you. Oh, shit. So in other words, he never woke up because I couldn't wake him up. That's funny. <clears throat> I smell the morning air. Maybe. There. It smells like musty cave. Mm. Hey, Carl, did anything weird happen? Can you see in the dark? A couple caravans passed by, but nothing alarming. How uh, big were the caravans? Uh, rather small, just two maggots each. Wealthy. Were they kinda... sexy? Were they sexy caravans? Because they looked like they were just traders, not too wealthy, 
somewhere in between. Not the Basically. magic weapon variety type or <laughs> magic carpet type. From what I they... could tell, they did not have a magic carpet. What a sexy traitor. Leave my dice alone, cat. Sorry. Were they sexy traders, Carl? They looked like a human, a tiefling, a dwarf, and a hobgoblin. He ah. sees everything! <laughs> <laughs> I take note of that. <laughs> God damn it. Were you doing that on purpose? <laughs> what do you mean? Manny! <laughs> yes. It was. <laughs> um, I put, I know how funny I put a for a doll to do that shit. back in his box. He goes back in the box. Sorry, um, prison wall. It's got you again, buddy. So, you both He's like, continue on. It's darkness, but there's also more darkness. Yeah, guys, continue on. The hours creep by until eventually you start to see light at the end of the tunnel. Thank God. And as you begin to get closer and closer, you see a couple caravans set up along the sides with campfires roaring. You see maybe 20 people of different races and creeds all gather around making a meal, talking amongst do, themselves. Do, do I see the people that he was talking about before? No, they pass. They passed the other direction. They were going towards Damn the it. city. Damn it. It's all right. Let's continue. All right. Sorry, I had a cough. So you continue forward. They kind of see you and, you know, wave and, you know, just acknowledge your existence, but they don't really say anything. I stare at them for a while, then I wave back. All right. Do you guys stop back and talk? In a second. Or do you continue forward? Um, I'm, back. I'm, okay. I'm assuming we continue forward. Okay. While Miney's away, I'm going to go get a drink real quick. Not a problem. All right, under the Carl notes. I got back. All right. I'm writing down everything I know about Carl right now. What'd you learn? He has no airplane mode. He sees everything, hears everything. Has a sentience <laughs> to him. I'm back. And can he see through the box? Yeah. Can, can... No, because because he said that he can't see through like certain yeah, things. Yeah, his his vision is literally like your vision. If something blocks him, he okay. can't see it. He's not like a scrying spell. Okay. And the last note sees you pee. Does he really? If he's staring at you while you pee, sure. I don't like that. <laughs> so, do you stop and mingle with the caravans, or do you to continue on? Yeah. I do, too. All right. They greet you, you know, easily. They're like, oh, come join us. We're having dinner or lunch or breakfast. I'm not quite sure. Carl, what time is it? He goes, it is now noon. If I talk to any, like, kind of dumb, dopey uh, caravan people, I want to see if they have any jewelry or anything like that, or weapons. You know, so I'm just going to try and pickpocket them. Okay. There we go. I'm putting, I'm putting that on the notes. He tells time. There we go. Make a perception check, on. Perception? To see, to see if you see any shinies. Ah. Uh. 
What'd you get? Um, six. Six. Um, so they look to be wrapped up, maybe from how cold it is down here. But you don't see anything shiny that you'd like to pickpocket. All right, what's that face? So, what do you all sell? Uh, they kind of light up and say, "Well, if you're buying a, I sell furniture." And then one of the uh, one of the women goes, "Well, I I sell fine clothing." And then one of the guys kind of says, uh, "I I sell jerky and other dried meats." Ooh. What kind of jerky? Maggot jerky. Hmm. I haven't had maggot jerky Not in a while. Not my kind of jerky. He goes, well, well, if you'd like some, it's only uh, two copper for a bag. Ooh, voice crack. Right. That's what the character does, it's just really yeah. voice cracks. He voice cracks. He's, he's, he's like a young guy. Makes sense. But, like, I'm, I'm like, I look at, I'm, I'm going to look at Carl real quick. Does he have clothes on? He, the way the statue is. Is he has, just like a rock? The... No, he's a, he's a statue of a person. Oh, I fucking hate dolls. Is he wearing clothes? Yes, he's wearing, like, fine clothes. It looks almost like a suit. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Do y'all have a So this tuxedo? thing has a face, then. Yeah, it's got a head. Do y'all have a tuxedo for this? We gotta get rid of Carl. I don't like Carl. Do you have a what? Do you have a tuxedo for this thing? For Carl right here? He, he's already wearing fine clothes. Does he have, Do you have a tuxedo for him? Carl, <laughs> are we required to carry you around? He goes... If you find the tunnel entrance, I'm the only one who can report back that you found it and prove that you're not lying. You don't have an airplane mode. I do not have an airship mode, no. <laughs> but, it's a box, it's all I got. You put him back. Uh, but the, the one trader, the one who was selling fine clothes says, well, I mean, I've got some doll clothes, maybe that'll work? Mm hmm. Maybe. Um... Dollar children's Might. clothes. You know what? You know what? Yes. He's... Do you have a Do you have a tuxedo for dolls? She goes. Ah, let me Let me check. And she kind of disappears and starts rummaging through some of the side satchels on one of the maggots. After about maybe thirty seconds, she comes back. Well, while small... she's doing that, I want to I want to look and check everybody out and see if they have anything really good on them. Make a perception check. That's a natural one again. Changing they, all, they all seem to be, you know, tight. Their clothes are really not baggy. They're you know, keeping their stuff close to their chest. That's bad if you get, like, a natural one twice in a row on a dice. It's fucking frustrating. <laughs> but does, uh, does she have a tuxedo? She comes back with a small box, and she goes, Well, I have this, this doll tuxedo. I don't know if it fit. And she kind of, like, opens it and pulls it out. And it's a little tuxedo. It's I like, take... I take him out of the box and really inappropriately start removing his uh, Carl's clothes right from well, no, the lady. They're not, no, they're like built in. They're like stone clothes. Like oh. they were they were etched in. They're not like actual clothes. I put on the clothes because he's naked. Yeah, you could you could cover him up with real does clothes. It, does it fit? Like, uh, does it, it fit him? It fits. I wrap him up really good and then I put him in the box. It's a little loose, but it fits. <laughs> All right, how much is that? She goes, ah, uh, a silver piece. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, do you have any magic carpets by chance, too? She goes, ah, I don't... I don't trade in magic items. I, I don't think anybody here does. Those are quite rare and quite expensive. Fair and the enough. market... The market's just not there for them. You know, most do people... you know who might own a magic carpet? I, I mean, maybe in the Mages City? Some of those magic types might have something like that. Thank but you very much. That's a like a couple weeks journey. Where's that? I'm I'm heading to the major major city. <laughs> she goes, well, you you keep on to the next city, and then from there you take <laughs> the southern path and you go for maybe a week in the tunnels, and then eventually you'll hit the major city. All right. Under Carl's notes, was naked. Nowhere to tuxedo. Um, um, okay, so <coughs> how much is uh, the jerky? It was, uh, I think I said it was like 15 copper. All no, right. it's like Wait. two copper. How much, and like how many days worth of ration is that? It's like a day's worth, it's not much, it's a small bag. Okay, I have I'll, enough I'll I have food. 
He said Nine, 15 copper? Five. Two copper. Two copper? Two. How much for, um... Uh, t okay, so... I'm gonna... For 20 copper, that's 10 pieces, right? That's 10 bags, yes. Alright. Um, I go ahead and buy 10 bags, and I give 5 to mining. Alright. You now have 5 days of ration supplies. Of okay. maggot jerky. Mm. Maggot jerky's good. You just have to get the right ingredients to um, make it even more delicious. Um, yes. The sword. I have a rapier. I think I was gonna have. I was gonna ask you if I could make it into like an artifact or something eventually, Logan. Yeah, you can. Um, if you go to the proper magical channels. You can make it into an artifact. But for now, could I keep it like just like an inactive kind of artifact version, just like it's a rapier, but it's. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Cool. I was just asking. But after you do all your purchases, they're like, well, stay, uh, you know, eat, eat some eat some vegetable stew. Just relax on your journey. We're headed to Duna to sell and trade. Duna or Duma? There's Duna. I don't Duma. remember. My Remember, my notes are gone. I'm going off. No, well, there's two cities now. We, we retconned. <laughs> oh, God. Duma and Duna. There's two cities, yes. Which one's she going to? Duna? Duna. The okay. one you came from. Yeah. But they're like, but uh, sit, enjoy a meal with us. Alright. Uh, yes. I don't trust them. Insight check. Make an insight <laughs> check. Be our guest, so we can cook you later. Um. Alright, so what's 14. my rations? I 14. Do. They seem to be telling the truth. Um, I'll insight check them too. Don't worry. And let's see. Um, where is it? Wait, there's. Okay, so I got a uh, twelve plus. Where's my insight? Ah, here we go. Uh, thirteen. I did worse. So I, I, I kind of feel like I'm trusting them too. Yeah, they both. They all seem to be trustworthy. They're just you know happy to have someone to talk to. All right, I ate my food. All right, it's delicious vegetable soup. Um, I I enjoy it, and I'm like, all right. So thank you for the meal. I'm gonna go ahead and play a song. For, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, perform for you guys for a little bit. And I start to dance and shake my ass and all this other kind of stuff. Start using uh, my. Uh, my my magical electricity that magical whip and starts twirling around like I'm using one of those like twirler things whatever the hell they are okay and you know give start to give me a performance check all right ooh that was actually pretty good that is a 22 22 they seem enthralled by your performance there. You know, just eating their soup, eyes locked onto you. And, and as I'm doing this, I immediately go ahead and lock eyes with uh, Zahn. Okay. As if I'm saying, do what you gotta do, kind of thing. Alright, they seem to be enthralled. Zahn, if you'd like to try and pickpocket some of them. Am I pickpocketing? Any if of you them, want but, to, yeah, you can try. If you want to? I'm just, I, I just locked eyes with you. Make a slide of hand check with advantage because Azrael is literally got them enraptured. Sorry, what? Make a slide of hand check with advantage. Okay. Um, 22. 22? You gather about 20 silver from all of them as you just, you know, you're just minding your own business, inspecting the maggots, and then every now and then you slip a hand in a pocket. So you get 20 silver. Uh, all right. 
and I get people that like me a little bit more. Everybody wins. What? Oh no, I was just saying everybody wins. Like I'm happy about it. I got you. Um we just passed this guy then, right? Are we leaving him now? Yeah. Or are we sitting with him still? You can sit with him for a little bit if you'd like, but it it'd just be a waste of time. You're just okay. talking. I do leave. Okay. I mainly uh, tell him though, like if you're ever looking for um me Look for um, ever again, or looking for something of uh, fun and entertainment. Oh, look, wait. For the, it, uh, look for the golden grin, and then I disappear. Was hold on, wait. Was uh, Manny did a performance or some shit, right? Yeah, he yep. was performing. Okay, so though. before before that, uh, the end of that, I took all the money that I stole and I threw it to Manny. <laughs> it was like a tip. <laughs> Oh, first God. performance. You kind of do that, and then other people are like, "Yeah," and they start throwing copper and silver. So, <laughs> as you you get an additional uh, ten copper and five silver. I get the uh, the um, twenty silver that he threw out. <laughs> I um, back to him, and you said, um, and then I keep the little stuff that the guys. You bastard. <laughs> so ten copper, five silver for you. Ten Zon, copper, you five silver. Copper. Zani got 20 silver. Yeah. All right. All right. So you both continue down the tunnel. Uh, after a couple hours, it starts to get, you know, you start to feel the fatigue, and you're like, okay, it's time to sleep. So you set up on the side again, and who's taking the watch this time? Quickly enough, how many silver was it again for me? Five silver. Five silver, okay. Ten copper, five silver. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. So who's taking the first watch if you are taking a watch? Um, I'll take I can. It. I'll t oh, you can? All right. Yeah. Uh, I put Carl up somewhere so he's watching everything again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I set up an alarm again, and then I go to sleep. All right. You fall asleep. Zahn, give me a perception check. Money. Hello. Perception check. Uh, um. What's my goddamn my fucking monitor? You piece of shit. Sorry. Um. Thirteen. Thirteen. So, first couple hours pass by uneventful, and then eventually you start to feel this low rumbling, and as you start to like look around to see what it is, you see another caravan of maggots just kind of slowly making their way past you. And they see you and they kind of like wave as, you know, they're illuminated by torchlight, but they I pay, wave. Back. They pay you no mind and continue on. The rest of the night goes by uneventful and you eventually Azrael you eventually wake up. Oh wait, so wait. Like so am I am I doing the night thing too? No, you wake up and it's it's the next day. Oh wait, I thought Oh yeah, 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 you take shifts. I'm sorry. So yeah, 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 Zon, you go to sleep. Azrael, you wake up for the next watch. All right. So give me a perception check. That's way better than it was last time. That is uh, 14 plus. Uh, 14 plus 1, 15. 15? It goes by uneventful. No more caravans, nothing. No creatures from the Underdark. Eventually, you just sit there quietly in the dark. You know, you know, reading or whatever you, you'd like to do. Hey, Carl, what do you think about sometimes? He goes, I just monitor, I don't think. You're thinking right now, and that says a lot. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him an existential crisis is your new idea? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. He's regretting coming with you, but he kind of just sighs and goes back in the box. All right. Up a madam, son. It's time to get going. All right. All right. Um. So, you guys get up and you start walking again. At this point, yeah. it's been two days. So you know you should be at the, not that, you should be at the quarter point. 
where there is a settlement that's been set up as a way of, as a wayside for caravans. So that should be your next goal. And after a couple hours, eventually the cave starts to widen until eventually you come to this precipice and it's just a vast ravine straight down. But you see to the right, what looks like built in the side of the ravine are a number of buildings. There's light coming from them. There's music coming from it. Oh, and you cool. can see you can see that it's spanning the ravine from the small little settlement is a large bridge, stone bridge. So, you guys. Sorry. We are at Duma, right? No, you're not at the city. You're at the uh, wayside. It's like oh. it's like a pit stop. It's like a, a gas station. <laughs> For caravans to stop and resupply. Ah, uh, opportunities. Yes. <laughs> and as you approach, you do see that there are two guards. One is asleep, and one is just reading a book quietly as you approach. Two guards Hi, at the, uh, the truck stop? Yeah, two guards at the entrance to the truck stop. Fuck, it's not a truck stop! Is it? Are we able to? Is just, just anyone can come and go, place, right? Yeah, it's open to the public. They're just they're literally right. guarding from you know creatures. Or I just walk past the guards. Yeah, the one reading the book kind of nods. The one asleep like drops his spear and like wakes himself up. And he grabs it. and He's like, oh, 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 and he goes back to sleep. Ah. As you enter, sleeping. you do hear music coming from the center. You see that there are. It looks like it's. A mix between a truck stop and a village. There's random houses, there's random families, but there's also guards. And as you get closer to the center, you do see there's like there's many of those maggots uh, gathered around a central um, fountain, which is not pumping water. It's kind of empty at the moment. Oh, well, that's uh, weird. Can I tell why it's empty? Make make as you approach, make an investigation check. I will. Assume. Is there like fish in there that are flopping around because they have no water? There is no fish. Ooh, eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, as nineteen. Oh. <laughs> the damage? No, I have a um, plus one. Oh. He's he's helping you if you like advantage. Oh, I'll be I mean, it was an eighteen. Yeah. Be yeah. Uh, nope, it was the 18 plus one was higher. Okay, so the 19. So you inspect it, and you you kind of lean in, and you hear this like gurgling noise coming from the center. You get the idea that it's either backed up or the water supply has been cut off. Um, is there like anyone investigating it? or? There's a couple. It looks like the guards, there's two guards, one on either side, just kind of keeping you know people away. And as you approach, they're like, no, no, I'm sorry, sir, you, uh, you need to step back. What's wrong with the water? It kind of goes, well, the well that pumps it, uh, something's clogging it. We sent some men down there to figure out what it is, but they haven't come back yet. Oh. What is if there monster dangerous there? things afoot? We don't know. The well has been here for a long time, and it's just kind of run. It's never and really backed up like this. How many guards did you send? Three. And how long have they been gone? About a day. That's un very unusual, isn't it? Because yes, but we're kind of short-staffed at the moment, and we so have to no keep the peace up here. The... Yeah, we don't have anybody. Are you volunteering? Is the pay pay good? They kind of look and they go mercenaries. Uh, yes, we do pay Racist. for this job. One hundred and fifty gold. 150 gold to be split between oh the my. two of you. Holy crap. You hear that, Carl? I can get you some new stuff to make you look so much more nicer. We can do it. I'm up for it. He goes out. And we get to keep any magic items we find. <laughs> now, here's the good question I have to ask, because this is a serious question. Have you tried blowing air into the side that's not pumping the water? He 
kind of looks to you and says, "I, I it, like with he got magic, a, with magic." He goes, "We don't really have any magic users in the settlement." Fair enough. <clears throat> All right, then I will take up the offer of us both get one hundred and fifty gold. You know, magic's like the strongest combat style, right? Because they kind of look at their spears and say, look, we just run a truck stop. I mean, not a truck stop. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we run this settlement. We keep the peace. We keep riffraff out. We keep bandits out. We keep monsters out. None of us know magic. We don't go to the mages city. These are guards, right? These are guards, yeah. Okay. How far to the mages city? He said like a two-week journey. The, the caravan you met. Oh. How long All was right. It? That was a day ago. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay. But he kind of goes, look, I'll take you to where the well is. You go If you go down there, you unclog it, 150 gold, all yours. If our guys are dead, if our guys are hurt, so and you bring gold them. Each. Got it. No, 150 gold to be split. He goes, if our guys are hurt or dead. Between both of us. Right? 150 gold. If they're hurt, do you want them dead? <laughs> goes, no. Why? What's wrong with you? A lot of things. He goes, look. If they're alive, trying, bring them back. If they're dead, if they're dead, bring something back so we know that, you know, they're dead. And then we'll okay. send some clean Like uh, their armor? Their helmets armor, will be fine. Their ear? Okay. Don't cut off their ear, please. Is it okay if I keep their armor? If, you, can, you can see him kind of like put his head it, down. This is sick. Like face palm. I apologize. He goes, look, just unclog the damn well and we'll pay you. He goes, follow yeah, me. Sounds good. Deal's a deal. And he takes you down. And he takes you down a staircase. 150 each, right? 150. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, if you keep asking me, it's going to be 100 split amongst the two of you. <laughs> Like, Almost got him to say it. <laughs> he, he leads you yes. to the, he leads you to the edge of the ravine to a rickety old staircase, and he says, "Just follow the staircase down. It's a straight shot to the well." Do you have insurance? He kind of turns and says, "Just get the damn well unclogged." All right. I'm going directly to that guy when I get the <laughs> well unclogged. I'm going directly to that guard. All right, so you guys eventually uh, you eventually hit the bottom of the staircase, and you see a long I have noted tunnel. Them as truck stop guards. <laughs> you see a long tunnel stretching before you. It's just darkness ahead. I, was, I, I see a long tunnel dark. stretching before me. Mike can we, see uh, the dark, but I can't. He sees it so far. Do we have yeah, torches? You, you, if you have torches, you have torches. I don't know if I have a torch. I'm okay with looking in the dark if you can see beyond the darkness. Your, uh, Zahn, your, your vision is only 60 feet, and it's black and white. Yeah. So, Does he have super dark vision? Cause and he's, uh, he does, he's that is. He can't see. No, he can't see at all. It's pitch black to him. But you can see 60 <laughs> feet black and white. I, think I thought it was like 60 to 120 feet, wasn't it? <laughs> it says, let me check on his character sheet. It says, dark vision. You see in darkness shades of gray up to 60 no. feet. Hey, so it's regular dark vision? I thought it was super dark vision. I'm mm -hmm. going off D&D &D Beyond. Oh, okay. Um, yes? I'm thinking. I, I keep having a brain fart. Um, we, I, do I have a torch? I don't I, I pay for a torch. One gold for a torch. Okay, I'll say you bought. I say you bought a torch at the settlement. I knowing have. I have a torch already with me. You do not need to buy a torch now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We okay, like so the he only has no. They only have um, normal dark vision. I thought they had like super dark vision. They should, but that might have been changed because they've been chaining a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I see that it's only dark vision. That's weird. Yeah. I swear to God. They did have superior dark vision, which is why they have sunlight sensitivity. I don't know why they don't have it anymore. Yeah, but they you see kept what I'm the talking about, right? Yeah, because they kept the sunlight sensitivity, but they I'll took take away the, the darkness. I'll take super dark vision. 
I'll give it. I'll give it to you. I don't care. Yeah, especially with the sunlight sensitivity. Yeah. And everything. You have sunlight sensitivity. You should have superior dark vision. That's how. That's why you have sunlight sensitivity, because your eyes are trained for the dark. So it yeah. would only make sense that you would. So, fuck what D and D Beyond says. You have superior dark vision. So it's a hundred and twenty <gasps> feet. He said, "Fuck D." Oh no, I got you. <laughs> we can edit that out. I'm not gonna edit it out. I'm editing this. So. <laughs> You guys light up your torch, and you begin descending into the dark. After maybe yes. five minutes, eventually you re you hear this, like, gurgling, babbling noise, just of water. And eventually you enter a, a reasonably sized room, maybe 50 feet, and you see in the center... You see in the center this odd stone well that just sits there, and you see water bubbling up, but it's not breaking the surface. Or it's not breaking the sides of the well. And you also see three figures laying against the well. What? Oh, they're the guards. Are they dead? Yeah, you would like to investigate them? I use my cantrip, Mage Hand, and I have it travel they're laying against things. the well, you said? Yeah, they're propped up against it. I use uh, Mage blood. Hand. I use Mage Hand to like, go all the way over there, and I slap one of them. Okay. Uh, you asked if there's blood? Yeah. Make a perception check, and uh, Asriel, as your hand floats over, you reach out and slap the the what looks like a corpse. There's no reaction. I'm gonna hurt my cats. Um, That's tragic. It's perception, you said, right? Perception. I got an eight. An eight. They seem to just be formless husks, or not husks. I'm sorry, formless bodies. There is no. You can't discern if there's blood. You can't discern if there's any wounds. They just look like bodies. I just lightning lower my cantrip to pull them over to me. They look like the guards, though, right? They look like guards. They're in guard clothes. Okay. I use lightning lure to go ahead and um, pull them over to me. All right. You grab one or all of them? I do it one at a time because I can only like, okay. pull one at a time because it's as you, as you Does lightning lure do damage? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, uh -huh. it does. Okay. So as Lightning War wraps around it, you see the body twitch and kind of like sit up. And as you begin dragging it, it slowly like tries to stand up. And I need you guys to roll initiative. There's zombies. There's zombies. All right. Are these zombies? You don't know. Eesh. Don't make That's me take a... over these zombies. <laughs> I see what I see where this is going. Give me your initiative. Um, give me a sec. Uh, my initiative is plus two to that. I got a nine. Ew. What you get, on? Twelve. Okay. So up uh, first, Zon, you're up. Well, first off, you did do yeah, damage yeah. to one of them with lightning lore. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it a looking, save I have to make, or is this damage? I'm looking, I'm looking at it. Uh, you create a lash of strikes on creature to target him. Let's see, succeed on a straight saving throw, or be pulled up to 10 feet in a straight line towards you. And it takes 1d8 uh, lightning damage. Okay, so what's the, the strength saving throw? If, if, it, um, if it is within 5 feet of me. Okay, uh, it fails, so it's dragged forward. And it takes the damage, so... Alright. Uh, D8. Here we go. That is two damage. Uh, a lightning damage. Alright, so... You lash out, grab it, and rip it towards you. You see the lightning coursing through its body. We're level threes, right? Wait, he has a whip. You're level three. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, a, a, it's lightning lore to it's, spell. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Oh, uh, I thought you said something about whip. Okay. It is like a whip. Yeah. yeah. It's the thing oh. I've been using for all my performances. But you do successfully pull him towards you. Alright. But up first is Zahn. There are two... Wait. You watch as the two up against the well start to stand, and the third one, which is dragged towards you guys, is also standing now. It's within five feet of us. It's right in front of us. Yeah, actually. it's right in front of you. One is right in front of the other two, or maybe 20 feet away. Um, it would have to be, with, it would have to be within... um. 15 feet of us, because that's okay, how yeah. lightning lore works. They were close enough. 
I'd say I say you got close enough to grab them, so they are within fifteen feet. So one is right in front of you at five feet, and then the other two are fifteen. Uh, uh, there's one close to me. There's one right in front of you. <laughs> I stab it more up here. All right, I use um. Ball. Okay. What out of the. 22. 22. That'll hit. Roll damage. Alright. Um, I was gonna use, um, what the fuck is it called? Channel Div... No, not Divinity, right? No. Wait. I don't know what the fuck. Hold on. I got doing to find smite. Okay, so I'm using a divine smite. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can expend one spell slot to deal 2d8 radiant, or extra radiant damage to target 1d8 for each spell, blah, blah, blah. Um, and plus 1d8 <coughs> against undead or fiends. So... Okay, I just spin a spell, a spell slot. How many slots do I have? Three? Okay, so that's one. And then I roll... Oh, no, I already rolled the hit, so I just gotta roll damage for the rapier yep, and for damage. the, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, features and traits. Okay. What's the rapier? D8, right? Let me check. Oh, I found it. Yeah, it's a D8 plus... It is... 1D8, yeah. Anyway, just, Logan, these guys are wearing armor, right? They are wearing armor, but okay, it's, it's like it's hell. like slightly decayed. But it is armor, right? It is armor, yes. Is it made out of metal, or is it just regular It's leather. Armor? It's simple leather. Okay, okay. That's good to know. <clears throat> Okay, so three. Um, so the rapier damage is piercing, and it's ten. And then the. Um, divine smite is. Two D eight plus one D eight, so three D eight. So. Eleven damage for the uh, divine smite. All right. That'll be the end of my turn. So Sorry. as this lumbering form gets up after being pulled, it goes to smash at you, Miney. You deflect it with your arm, take your rapier, fill it with divine wrath, jab it right in the gut. Nothing happens for a second before there's this sickening explosion, and the guts just spew out, and the creature like leans back until its back folds in on itself. And it folds like a sandwich and just falls to the ground dead. Oh, yeah. Up next is one of the other creatures. You see it kind of shamble over, and it's going to make an attack against you, Azrael. All right. Ooh. Let's go with it. That's a 15 to hit. 15 hits. All right. So you take... I wish I took shield as a spell. It's all you good. You take four points of bludgeoning damage. Four points, oh god. Um, where's my health? Is he dead? No. I... <laughs> no, I'm not dead, but... Continue, you said four points of blizzing damage? Four points of blizzing damage. Okay. Just gotta figure out where the hell my fucking health is. Wait a second, wasn't there a thing I could just, like, go to a menu? Oh, there it is. It's, up, it's in the top right corner. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I failed myself as a human. Alright. I got it. I got it. Alright, that's the end of its turn. Up next Great, is on. Azrael. Oh, it's my turn? Yep. And it, 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 it's in front of me, right? 
It is, there's one directly in front of you, yes. The other one has been dispatched, and there's one more still by the well. All right. I look at it. I stare right into its soul. And I don't do anything to him. That's Yet. It. I go ahead and use Magic Missile. All right. Those automatically hit, so just roll damage. There's a dice rolling thing over here? Yeah, that's Holy I've, shit. that's what I've been doing. I've been rolling dice on D&D Beyond because my desk is too oh. small. Does that I work press better? It on here. The way Holy it works, shit. the way it works for D&D Beyond is you click it, it rolls the dice and automatically adds the modifier or whatever. Uh, I might start using that. Yeah, literally on your page, you just click, oops, you just click like Dex. You What's the point of having dice, Logan? I have All right, dice. So, two. So do one, I. You cast the spell using a uh, spell slot of second level or higher. Okay, wait, 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 what? The spell creates a uh, uh, more darts for each thing. All right, so that's um, how many darts do I get? Uh, let me check. Let's see, let's see. Okay, you create a okay three. So there's three plus the other one for second level. That's four. So I got rolled. Yeah, I got to roll uh, four d fours. <clears throat> Alright, that's a six for a six right now. Six. Uh, and then that's another um what's that? That's a total of ten damage. Alright. Force damage. So after it, it socks you in the jaw, you kinda of Plus uh wait, wait whoops, whoops. Plus um four force damage because it's one D four plus one, I just noticed. You're fine. So fourteen damage. It reaches out and like socks you in the jaw and you you see stars from it before you write your head. Outstretch your hand, and those little beads of light emerge, and then launch out, smacking and impacting into the creature's chest. It stumbles back, but it's still standing. I quicken. All right. I quicken, and I hit it again. All right. For a second, with another second level magic missile. Go ahead. I miss me the spell casting. Now the All right, so. This is so before uh -huh. I like I waste all my I waste all my freaking um like magic missiles on one target. Alright, so the first hit the first one is um three damage. Alright. Alright, next one is uh, another two damage, so that's a total of five. Five damage. Just tell me one at a time and I'll input them one at a time. Okay. And then put you. Alright. Um three damage. Alright. So as you do the last bit of damage, you watch as the creature starts to stumble back. What was... The total was... The total was... So that's a total of 8 damage, eight right? 8 damage, yes. So, let me... It has to make a constitution saving throw. It fails. Alright. And then so, I go ahead... I go ahead and, um... As I see the other one decaying... I immediately change the last shot over to the next one and let it fling at the next one, and that one's fight damage. All right. All right, so you launch the dart, and it screams out and land and hits it in the head. You know, the creature, like, reels back. You see part of its jaw has been blown off. But it is now its turn, and it is coming to you. Can I take an ap attack of opportunity? That's not near you. The ones near you are dead. This, this one was over by the well. So it shambles the 15 feet There's over. There's only one left, right? There's only one left. It's going to attack yeah. you, Miney. No. That's an unnatural 20. That hits. You take six points of bludgeoning damage. Can you edit that in for me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> there, I did it. You're the best. Update your sheet and see if it actually shows. Um, I was about to click something. Fuck, hold on. Ooh, it shows right. up in the encounter building. That's cool. How do you update your sheet? You just, if you're on the website, just hit refresh. Refresh. Uh, you should be at yeah, 22. It did. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of its turn. Zon, you're up. Uh, fuck. Um, I don't have extra attack yet, do I? Not yet. God damn it. 
Okay, there's only one, right? And it's uh, is it near me or near me? And I... You guys are standing next to each other, so it's right on top of you. Okay, both. so I can stab it. I'm gonna stab it real good. Make an attack roll. Oh, watch out, Sear. Damn it. Seven. So you got a jab, long. and it deflects off the, the right, raggedy armor it still has. Yeah, I can see. When you roll on that, it tells me what you rolled. Did it add my modifiers, yeah. though? If you, it, dude, what did you so roll? was that a one? Hold on, I rolled a d20. Um, well, hold on. The way it works is when you actually click on it. Like, if you click your rapier, there's a little oh, box that says plus the... seven. You click that, hold and on. then it rolls for you. And so it, click the rape. The little box that says plus seven. So that's damage. Oh, okay. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve hits. Oh, so it does it do the adding? Oh, it's a nineteen. Okay. A nineteen hits, right? Oh, no, it does do the adding if you click on the right thing. This is twelve plus seven equals nineteen. That's it. it Oh yeah, you're good. You're good. That rolls. Yeah. It didn't pop up on my end. I thought it just showed me your rape, your damage. Oh, uh, that's because yeah. Don't worry about that. You're fine. So go right, ahead. So that hits. The rape, your damage is fifteen. All right. So you jab into its stomach, and you hear a sickening noise as guts just kind of spew over your boots. No, I just got these cleaned. That's the end of your turn. Azra, you're up. Oh, go ahead. All right. Nothing. I. I stare straight. I stare straight at it. Look, pierce into its eyes, I think, and I grab it by the head and I use shocking grasp. Okay, is that an attack roll or a save? It's an attack roll. Roll to attack. Okay, so um, fuck. Where's um my spell attack thing? Let me look. Ah, oh, here we go. Does a nine hit? A nine will hit. Holy crap, thank god. They're so slow that their armor class is very low. Thank god they weren't wearing suits or armor. I would be depressed. Alright, that's 1d8 of lightning damage. That is a 6. Alright. Let me make it constitution saving throw. So, you lash out it with your spell... And it impacts, and at first the creature starts to slunch down like it's going to die. And then you watch as it writes itself back up. That's it just did it. its fucking resurrection shit, didn't it? That's yes, uh, it did. Make, if you want, you Motherfucker. make a nature check. Does his clothes, clothes look nice? Does it look undead? <laughs> At this I, point, as it got closer, you do see they they are de de decaying and ragged. They look like they've been dead for probably the whole day, and they've just been slowly decaying. They're a little bloated. Fifteen. Yeah. So these you can determine these are zombies, and that once they take enough damage, they can come yeah, back like at one hit point. Bonus action, I slap him. Doesn't do any damage. I, I just, him. I just, I just slap well, him. It's now the for zombie's turn. Damage. I know. God damn it. So I bonus action, slap him, just for emotional it's damage. It's gonna go for you, Azrael. That's a seven to hit. Yeah. It misses. All right. So that's the end of its turn. Zahn, you're up. I stab it with my rapier. Make an attack roll. Let it happen. There's a pop-up for you. Yeah, it pops up on the side. I have it open. 25. 25. Go ahead and roll damage. 11. I like this. All right, so let me make another constitution saving throw. It has to beat a 16. It rolled a natural 1. <laughs> Damn. So you watch, you jab it once more, and you pierce all the way through where the spine would be, and you bisect it. And the zombie kind of like lurches and then falls forward on top of you. Another one bites the dust. And that is the end of combat. Um, 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 um. All right. Is this the um, where the well is supposed to? I loot everything. 
Hey, Logan, so is this where the well is, right? Like, yeah. All right. Does there the look zombies like... wear the guards, right? Yeah, you looking at them, they're wearing the same armor as the guy who showed you how to get down here. All right, so what about the, um, is there anything, like, that looks like tampering? Make an investigation unquote. check. Hey. God damn it. Should we bring the whole corpses back or bring just the heads or... I'd say let's bring, let's bring the whole body. Okay. That's a seven. Seven. The well... I and, could do better. As you inspect the well, you do see there's this, like, strange... Strange, like, goo that kind of lines the bottom of the well. And the water is, like, trying to... You can see the water kind of bubbling up, but it's not able to breach that goo. I'd like to, um, take some time to destroy it. All right. With, with, um, magical means. Okay. Like... So like shocking grass, but I use my transmute. I transmute it into burning grass. Okay, easily enough, you burn away the goo, and after a couple of seconds, you see the water start to slowly climb to the edge of the well. But instead of spilling over, it continues to rise in a column until you see it goes through a slot in the roof, and it continues going up. All right. Is this like it's only like a linear pathway, right? There's no other, like yeah. anywhere like it. It's literally like just you walk. There's only one entrance and exit, and that's it. All right. This all is right. a magical fountain. As far as you can tell, yes. There was what, a magical. What, what goop. was it? Uh, there was goop on it. It all got, it got the old goop. Yeah, I burned Damn it. it. It always gets you the old goop. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, there's nothing else down here besides the dead guys looking at That's the, about uh, it. You can make an investigation check if you're looking for loot. I will investigate. It's... I have a torch next to me, I'm assuming. Yeah, you have a torch. And... <laughs> I'm gonna try to at least make a area investigation, see if there's any, like, possibility of something, like, coming through. A ten! Breach. Ten. Make an investigation check. With a ten looking for loot, you don't really find anything you would just I find... look harder 15 15 well looking for loot there doesn't seem to be anything down here it looks like it's literally just the well uh, looking for any corruption you do um Azra, you find what's oddly enough a little bag little two back to back ones a a what a little bag <laughs> off in the corner and as you look inside, you see there's this, like, it's empty, but there's this, like, trace of green powder. I like to Sniff investigate it. it, quote unquote. Make a nature check. Nature? Okay. I sniff it. Turns into a zombie immediately. Uh, 14. Money's Damn killed. It. Campaign over. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Not already. 14, but, um, what 14. do I get from that? 14. You look at it closely, and it, it is a powder of some kind, but it doesn't look it doesn't look natural. It looks like it's been manufactured. It's not like a pollen or a dust. You look manufactured. It looks manufactured. Zon, you still don't find any loot. Damn it. <laughs> I, uh, I grab Carl, and I dunk him in a, a little bit in the residual on the seat. It does anything to him. All right. You dunk him in. You pull him out. You a little bit. Him. He's got a little bit he's a zombie now, stuck please. to his nice tuxedo. Zombie Carl, please. He no, seems joking. to be unaffected. Okay. Um, I clean him a little bit. I clean him with um, with hopes and means. All right, I, clean I clean him. him. That's all yeah. I do. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh, wait, no, wait. Hey, Zon, here. I don't know if this bag is magical or not, but here. What bag? The bag that had green goop in it. Here. Oh, I arcana check the bag. Make an arcana check. God damn it. Keep making me get up. <laughs> this I'm just to made a my laptop, dude. Not my laptop, my fucking monitor. Uh, arcana, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. You damn. take a cursory glance at it. You're not sure what it is. Again, you also determine that it is not natural. It's been manufactured. You gauge it's a fine. It's a fine powder, meant 
for mixing with other ingredients. It's not like something you just ingest or you solo. It's something meant to be mixed. With what? You don't know. Ah. Okay. So I couldn't, is it an item or is it like a... Just it's a it's an empty bag with residue. That's all it is. Okay. Okay. You can add that to your I don't know what the residue but... is. Yeah, Here's our neither, evidence bag. Neither of you were either. Neither of you were. Did you want to write it down, Manny, or do you want me to? Uh, I'll write it down. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Bag of goop. All right, but you have the guard's torso. If you'd like, you can head back to the surface. Um, I thought we were just carrying the whole entire bodies, right? Well, one of the bodies is bisected. The other two are relatively intact. If you'd like to take a whole body, you can. Um, yeah, I'll carry a whole body. Yeah, I'll take a whole body. All right. <laughs> I'm strong enough to do it. <laughs> yeah, you climb up the stairs and you see the other guard waiting for you. He's got his back to you. He hears you coming and he turns and goes, Oh, so, what the fuck? Uh, uh, don't worry about it. This is what happened to your guards. It looks like they uh, got zombified. I don't know how. You seem kind of like shaking in his boots. He's like, I, I just thought they were being lazy. No, well, apparently. They're, they're pretty apparently, dead. Apparently they like their truck stop area, I guess. He goes, I honestly didn't expect you to, you know, do anything. So, I mean, I, I don't. 150 gold each? <laughs> yeah. He's like, how? You expected us to come on, uh, on some, uh, lazy workers. Nope. They were, they were hungry. Yeah, there's that. water now. Look at all that water. See, you see him kind of get a little flustered. He starts to sweat. And he's like, I'll, I'll take I'll take you to my boss. He'll, he'll be able to pay you. Yeah. Okay. 150 good. gold split between the two of you, right? 75. Oh, 150 eight. gold each, you said? Okay, I got you. Oh, where's your <laughs> boss? He goes, just, just, just follow me. And he takes you and leaves I, you. I, I see where he's going, and I just run all the way ahead of him. What do you do with the body? I carry it <laughs> on my shoulders. Left, oh, I'm just, I fire I, left it there. <laughs> I firefighter carry it. All right. As you go through the center, you see the well is now flowing again. Water is bubbling up, and you see caravan people, you know, filling their canteens, filling their barrels. Uh, you do see some of them smiling, happy, and they see you run by, and you see the color drain from their face as this large dragonborn comes running by with a looks like a deceased guard. I don't know him. Uh, Zahn, you just walk with the other guard who's kind of like flustered and like, oh, shit. This is the same guard that I talked to. Don't worry to about it. There, the right? never yeah, it's the same one. Okay. Just a second. I say war never changes. And dice keep on moving. All right. You continue forward, and you eventually reach the entrance, and you see there are other two guards posted there. They see you, and they kind of, like, raise their spears and point them in your direction. Before, the other guard comes running up and says, No, no, they're fine. They're fine. He's, like, waving his hands. He's like, No, it's all good. They found them like this. And you, they kind of like inspect the body and they see the, the, what, it was rapid decay. You notice that it, they've only been gone for a day. So they shouldn't have decayed this much. So. Too much rigor mortis. Past that. They've like bloated. They're like bloated, like corpses you find in the water. Yeah. They're but soaked. They're like, they like kind of gingerly take the guy down and lay him on the, on his back. And the other guy goes. The guard who you've been talking with goes, I'll, I'll go get my boss, just wait here. Okay. And he heads inside. After a few minutes, he comes back out with what you can see is a woman in her like mid to late 40s. Dressed what is in, she wearing? She's dressing breast and plate mail. And you see she is a tiefling with her hair pulled back in a ponytail and only she has... What well, looks like she used to have two horns. One is broken and gone. The other one wraps around the top of her head to the back of her head. Very appealing. I actually like that. And she goes, and she kind of like crosses her arms and surveys the situation. She looks to the guard and says, So, I've been told. I cross my arms the same way she's crossing her arms. I, I have... turn around real quickly, grab my mirror, and start to comb my combs a little bit. My, not my combs, my, my horns a little bit. And then I, okay. I look back, smiling. She goes, I've been told that you unclogged our well and you were promised 150 gold to be split amongst the two of you. No, each. <laughs> Make a deception check. Lag. God damn it. Deception. Get in our persuasion. Perception. Deception. 
No, deception. Yeah. Inception check. Um. Oh, I'm proficient deception. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Eleven. Eleven. She goes. She kind of <laughs>, laughs and says, "150 to be split." She goes, "You're lucky to get that." And she kind of like shoots a dirty look at the other guard. And then she reaches down, pulls out a small pack, pouch of gold, and tosses it in the air. Who's catching? I it? use lightning lure to pull it. Uh, is she hot? I described her once. I wasn't listening. <laughs> You're never listening. She's in her mid to early forties. She is in plate mail with a ponytail. She has one broken horn and one horn that goes to the top of her head to the back of her. So she's not hot. She's appealing. It's as hot as you want her to be. Look at this understand. Alright. She goes <laughs> she goes, now that you've been paid, do what you will. And she turns and heads back into the building. Alright. Yeah, she says, do what you will. I walk over by her and I say, Would you like to go to dinner? <laughs> she's a dragon thing, right? No, she's a tiefling. She's a tiefling. Oh. Uh, I don't listen. So <laughs> She kind of looks at you and says, she kind of laughs and says, I'm happily married. Thank you very much. And she heads inside. And you can have happily talk, I, another, I, I, I go to her. Are you happily married to me? She just kind of rolls her eyes and says, I hate mercenaries and heads inside. <laughs> the other guard goes, well, you've been paid. Uh, thank you again for getting our well fixed. You're Are welcome. you the husband? Uh, Say Are again? you the husband? Are you the husband of her? Or wife? He goes, no, no, I'm just, I, I just work with her. Where is the husband? I, I, not here, he lives in the city. Alright, good to know, I know it. I have a feeling Manny's going to be killing a husband. <laughs> no, I don't know her at all. What are you talking about? Alright. But he All right, goes, Brian here. He kind of just I'm getting candy from Brian. He goes, "Well, well, you're f free to, you know, go about the stop, you know, <laughs> try some of the restaurants, meet some of the locals." Yeah, this you is know. good enough for now. And he goes, "But uh, I'm gonna go back to the well and get back to to guarding." And he heads off. And that is where we'll end it for tonight. All right, sounds good. Also. You both level up. That's oh, sweet. All right, first thing first. Yeah. Seventy-five gold. Got it. Yep. Each of you get seventy-five gold. Do you input that into the thing or no? What do you mean? I do. It. Or do we just input it uh, ourselves? Currency. I can add it real quick. I I add it right now. There you go. Um, you, um, where it says. I can do it. Uh, okay. Think. Manage character levels. Like character Four. levels. Oh shit, I didn't even notice this um, chat bar. Holy shit, this is where you've been rolling. Crap. Yeah. Yeah, it's very convenient. Because th that way, I can see your rolls, and I can tell if you, you know, if you messed up or something. Like yep. if you All rolled. Right. So, if you, you know. I know. You said level up, uh, right? Yeah, you guys leveled up. Where do I go to level up? It's a. I'm not sure I've never done it. Oh, wait. Wait, we uh, wait, press. Nope. Damn. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. But you you both level up. You both get 75 gold. Thank you very much. 